I said it's definitely been a blessing to come in with the guys and the talent that we have, not just at linebacker, but all the positions and the way guys have been coming out and working, things like that, just competing, getting every each and every one of us better, you know, and the coaches pressing the issue of continuing to get each other better and things like that. It's just been great. Coach O'Neill said that it's three-person raise for that yeah. starting job next yes, time tomorrow. Yes, sir. So, uh, I mean, how do you feel that, that you're stacking up at this point? I feel great, you know, not just about myself, but I feel great about the entire team, the way everyone's competing. I mean, that's what it's about. I mean, I know they said three, I mean, but everyone's competing. I mean, it's only about two guys out there that have a solid job already. But so everyone's just competing, you know, and that's what it's about. And uh, we're excited and the guys is taking on, you know, the role of competing and continue to just keep pressing every day and just getting better and getting one another better. How would you describe this defense? What, what makes it different than the one that you guys were running last year? Uh, I mean, every 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 defensive coordinator has their their own uh, coaching style. You know, uh, it's nothing better, nothing too much different, things like that. It's just a whole different coaching style and a whole different way we're going about, you know, defense and things itself. So, is it more aggressive? Would you say? Than- uh, I don't want to speak on that. I'll let Coach O'Neill speak on it. But uh, it's a three-four defense, and you know, the basics in the three-four defense and things like that. So, are, are you doing different things? Are, are some of the inside linebackers? Rushing the edges, for example. A oh yeah, I mean that's definitely that's definitely in the scheme as well. You know, where where the inside backers, you know, might come to the edge, or or I mean, we're we're moving guys around. You know, it's, it's OTAs. They're trying to see who fits best, where, who can do what, who has certain strengths and things like that. And that's what it's about. It's all about seeing what we have as a team and see what we got there when we play the Rams and see how, who we have out to go out there so we can win the game. So is this the time to kind of just develop that that chemistry with Navarro, you know, from the start and in, in the new. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, not just building the chemistry with Navarro, but building the chemistry with the front four guys, you know, the guys behind you. You want to have a chemistry within the whole defense, not just the guy who you're playing beside. You know, you want to have a chemistry with everyone. And that's what it's about, you know, making sure everyone's out there positive all the time and things like that, and, and we'll be good to go. He said, uh, Jim said that you know, nine days of OTAs that each of you three, uh, mm-hmm. you, Ray Ray, and Michael will We'll mm-hmm. rotate in. How did that work last week? Was it just was it? Uh, uh were you I mean, the guy all week. Or? No, I mean they. I mean, I started out the guy, but they like I said, they wrote, they, they move it around, and they make sure they put guys. They they're fitting it up to where we're seeing who works best with each other and things like that. And it's all the evaluation thing. Like you said, it's early in the season, it's early in the off season, you know. So we're just evaluating guys, seeing who fits best in the best places and things like that. But when it ultimately comes down, the best people are going to be on the field. So. Well, what's it like practicing against this offense? You've had a few weeks now. With- it's good. I mean, when we first got introduced to it, to a uh, volunteer minicamp, I mean, it was fast. But like I said, you can see the progression and the development of the entire team. Everybody's out there, and we picked it up, and we're running with it now, you know, on both sides of the ball. Offense looks sharp. Defense looking sharp, you know. Now it's just working about, like you said, now it's about seeing who works with each other best and things like that and getting those guys on the field together. Are, are you expecting teams to try to run more against you to dictate the tempo? And, and as an inside linebacker, is that something you might look forward to? Um... We don't know. I mean, that, that, that's some that's some things that we look when the season comes and we see the game plan and things like that. You know, I mean, that's that's nothing I can call right now. But we have to wait for the game plans to come out, and we're going to see how they're going to attack it. Gerald in Cleveland, uh, Jim O'Neill's defense was lambasted for uh, the lack of the run stopping stuff. Is is that complex? How is he teaching that? Um, did he say he's changing things at all? No. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, the coaches aren't out there. I mean, they have their schemes and things like that. But at the end of the day, the players have to go out there and they have to perform, you know. And and that's what that's what that's what their goal is to get the players ready for them to go out there to perform and do what we need to do to stop to stop the offenses and go out there and win games. Back to the cross training thing too. You said there's some rushing, some uh, dropping back, a little bit of everything. That's the nature of your position. But um, some players in Cleveland also had an issue with too much cross training in Jim O'Neill's defense like they were, they were putting too much on the plate um is that what, what I mean has with, the attitude been like that I mean with the group of guys we have I mean everyone's everyone's buying in you know and no one's being rebellious to it and things like that and that's what's making everything go you know, go quicker and allowing everyone to pick up things faster because no one's being rebellious to it. Everyone's buying into what we have going on and, and that's what's making us a better team right now because we're buying into what the coaches have on the platform for us. So. How many uh, interceptions? One, how many interceptions do you have off the uh, the nets? Off the, the nets? Screens. I did catch one today, actually. <laughs> off the net. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. How long have those nets been out there? Uh, coach started putting them up. Um, 
I'm I'm not exactly sure, but they've been using them, you know, which is great for the QBs and the offense and things like that. I mean, Coach Chip Kelly's mindset when we go out there, I mean, you, you just got to agree with it. I mean, everything he's doing it has a purpose and a reason, so.